The next Premier League season is right around the corner, but right now it's summer break, and you know what that means. It's the summer transfer window time. Therefore, today I'm going to be telling you which player should join every single Premier League club this summer. Let's just get straight into it and start off with Arsenal Football Club. I think they should sign Manchester City striker Gabriel Jesus this summer. It's already been confirmed by Fabrizio Romano that Gabriel Jesus is going to leave Manchester City this summer and join another Premier League club. And one of the clubs that is reportedly interested in him is Arsenal. So right now, Arsenal definitely needs a starting striker. Aubameyang just left after to join FC Barcelona in the winter and also Lacazette has just left Arsenal as well to join Lyon. And I know Eddie Nketiah is a baller and he's shown glimpses of talent however I don't think he should be the starting striker right now. And that's why you need someone who has great Premier League experience, great Premier League winning experience in Gabriel Jesus. Next let's go to Newcastle. I think Newcastle need another skillful impactful winger on the right side. We all know on the left side they have a lot of talent especially with Alan St. Maximen who is a great skillful player and also has a lot of pace. Now in the winter there were reports of Usman Dembele joining Newcastle because of that new Saudi Arabia money however now that looks extremely unlikely with him looking like he's going to join Chelsea instead. So they definitely need another winger and I think the perfect player for them has to be Moussa Diaby from Bayer Leverkusen. So the 22 year old from Paris who plays for Bayer Leverkusen has 13 goals and 12 assists in 32 games in the Bundesliga. I believe that Moussa Diaby and Alan St. Maximin on both sides of the wing will cause the fullbacks in the Premier League a lot of problems. And I can tell you for sure that the Premier League fullbacks this season are going to do a lot of running when they have to play Newcastle. Now for Fulham I think they have to go for North Norwich's Max Ahrens. With Nico Williams looking like he's going to be heading back to Liverpool from his loan at Fulham, they definitely need another decent right back. Why not go for Max Ahrens who already has two Premier League seasons under his belt? Not only that, it feels like yesterday when he was rated as one of the highest talented England right backs. And he was regarded so highly that even Bayern Munich were interested in signing him for a little bit. However, he stayed with Norwich City, got relegated with them, got promoted back to the Prem, and then got relegated again. I think it's time for Max Ahrens to say goodbye to Norwich City and join another Premier League club and this time it could be Fulham. Now, as Aston Villa and I think Steven Gerrard has to get the band back together. And that's precisely why I want to see Aston Villa sign Luis Suarez. Last season, Aston Villa were not good enough and in fact, they placed 14th place in the league conceding 54 goals and only scoring 52. Now, Stevie G has already made a great signing in Coutinho on a permanent deal and why not go for Luis Suarez to make that on a permanent deal as well? Luis Suarez is an extremely clinical striker unlike the strikers Villa have right now. Danny Ings does not look like his old self and has missed some good opportunities last season and Ollie Watkins just isn't a clinical striker as well. Luis Suarez is one of the best strikers in the last decade, if not the best. I know his stats weren't that good last season because he scored 10 goals less than the previous season at Atletico Madrid, but come on, he's already done it in the Premier League before for Liverpool, so why can't he do it a little bit more for Aston Villa? Now moving on to my club, Liverpool, they're already making a huge signing in Darwin Nunez. And at the time of me recording this, it seems like Liverpool have just put in an 80 million euro bid for him, and it seems like it's going to go through. Therefore, I'm not going to be saying Darwin Nunez in this video, but I'm going to be saying another player. The midfield for Liverpool is getting older, like James Milner is already like 36, he's basically a grandpa. Jordan Henderson is getting older, even though he's the captain of the team. And Naby Keita, he's just really too inconsistent. And Curtis Jones just hasn't lived up to the expectations he has. So far, he's still young. Therefore, I think the obvious answer for Liverpool to try and sign this summer has to be Jude Bellingham. Now, I know this is unrealistic because it seems like he's going to stay for Dortmund for another season, but I think Jude Bellingham will be a perfect fit for Liverpool. He's a midfielder who has 11 contributions in 32 games in the Bundesliga while having 3 contributions in 2 games in the Europa League this season. And I know the stats aren't great, but if you just watch Bellingham play, he's a top, top player who has a massive potential. I feel like he's exactly what Liverpool needs and I just know Jurgen Klopp would turn him into an absolute beast like he does with most of his players. Now for Wolverhampton Wanderers, I was going to mention a striker for them because they definitely need one after Raul Jimenez has slowly fallen off, but it does seem like they have finally sent Huang Yi Chen on a permanent deal, so I'm not going to be mentioning a striker. Instead, it seems like Ruben Neves is finally going to be leaving Wolves this summer, which means they need another midfielder. And that's why I think Wolves should sign Joao Palinha from Sporting CP. He's had another solidly defensive year for Sporting, and considering that Wolves finished the Premier League having a negative 5 goal difference, conceding 43 goals, I think having Palinha in there could be solving that problem. Now for Bournemouth, I think the obvious answer has to be Nat Phillips. If they want to stay in the Premier League for next season, they have to make sure they don't concede a lot of goals, which is usually what happens to all the recently promoted teams. And the only way to do that is to make sure your defense is really strong. So the 25-year-old Nat Phillips actually spent the last year at Bournemouth on loan from Liverpool and played a key role in the defense together with Lloyd Kelly. However, as of right now, Nat Phillips is not going to be staying at Bournemouth for next season and it seems like he's going to be coming back to Liverpool. However, I'm sure the Bournemouth office is already aware of this and they're going to do everything possible to sign Nat Phillips for at least one more season. However, let's be real, if Bournemouth signs Virgil van Dijk and Thiago Silva, that still wouldn't stop Naby Keita from having a masterclass against them. Now for the champions Manchester City, they really don't need to sign anyone to be honest. They literally just sent Erling Haaland to an already extremely stacked team. However, they could add another death piece to Manchester City because Fernandinho just left the club. This means that they're going to need another central defensive midfielder just in case Roger gets suspended or injured. Therefore, I think a great sign for Manchester City actually has to be Calvin Phillips from Leeds United. Now I know Leeds just 
escape relegation and are definitely not going to be looking to let go one of their key players in Calvin Phillips. But however, if the money is right, I'm sure they wouldn't mind letting Calvin Phillips go. He has Premier League experience. He's a solid central defensive mid. What more could you want from a player? Now, for Southampton, it's not really about what I think they should do. It's about what I want them to do. And not a lot of people are going to agree with me here, and that's okay, but I think Southampton should do everything they can to sign Gareth Bale. Listen, he just left Real Madrid and he's still a quality player. Wales are in the World Cup now, so he needs a way to stay fit. And what better way to stay fit than play in the Premier League, the best league in the world? I've heard rumors of Cardiff City, but they're not in the Premier League. They're in the Championship. It's way better to get that fitness from the Premier League. He started his career at Southampton. He might as well end it there as well. Now let's move on to Chelsea, where I think the only right choice for them has to be signing Jules Koundé, the center back. He's a talented Frenchman who has played in La Liga for a very good team, Sevilla. He was actually wanted by Tuchel last summer for Chelsea, but it didn't happen. But now it does seem like Tuchel is going to sign Jules Koundé for Chelsea. Not only that, Chelsea have lost a lot of center backs. Christensen is on the move, Rudiger just joined Real Madrid, and it seems like Aspilicueta might also be on the move as well. They're definitely going to be needing some defensive reinforcements, so why not sign Jules Koundé? Now for Brighton, I think I'm going to be a little biased here because I am American and Brighton do need a striker. Now I know Brighton already have strikers in Danny Welbeck and Neil Mape, but they definitely need more clinical strikers. And that's why I think Brighton should sign Jordan P. Fox Sibachu. Listen, the American forward actually has 22 goals and 3 assists in 32 games in the Swiss Super League and also having five goals in the 12 matches in the Champions League campaign, which also includes the Champions League qualifiers, but still, that's Champions League, right? Pfock doesn't have the pace, he doesn't have the dribbling skills, he doesn't have the techers, but what he does have is clean finishing. If you can find him in the box, the odds of him finishing it are great. The 26-year-old striker is clearly too good for the Swiss Super League, so why not Brighton take a chance on him? Moving on to Tottenham, I know there are rumors of Weston McKinney joining them because Antonio Conte really likes him, but I don't see Weston McKinney leaving Juventus right now, so I'm not going to be mentioning him. I do think, though, they need better center-back options next to Romero. Like, Eric Dyer's okay, and I mean, Ben Davies is okay too, but you know, you need top quality center backs if you want to make a real good push for the top three spots. Therefore, I think you have to go for talented Brazilian center back in Serie A, Bremer. And fun fact, I signed him in a FIFA career mode before he was known, like a couple years back, and to see him now prosper like this puts a smile on my face. But yeah, this is a no-brainer for me. He's an experienced, talented Serie A Torino center back, and I think they should do everything possible to sign him. Now onto Everton, they just had an extremely abysmal season. They barely survived relegation, and obviously their defense is primarily to blame for that. And 38 games last season, they conceded 66 goals. Like, bruh, how could you possibly be that bad? However, even though I am a Liverpool fan, I don't mind seeing Everton's downfall. In fact, I wanted to see them get relegated. However, for today's video, I'm not going to be biased. I'm going to try to help Everton out. I think they definitely need another center back. They need better CBs to make sure they don't concede 66 goals again. And I think they should go for James Tarkowski. Tarkowski is a center back who is linked to almost all the big Premier League clubs. However, he's staying at Burnley and now Burnley are relegated. Therefore, if he wants to play week in and week out in the Premier League, there's no better place to join than Everton because they definitely need that defensive reinforcement. Now for Brentford, I think they definitely need to sign a new attacker. We don't know whether Ivan Tony is going to leave and we don't know whether Christian Eriksen is going to stay longer. We just don't know. There's just too many ifs around with Brentford. Therefore, the signing I might say might be stupid in a couple months time, but I think they should go for Saeed Ben Rama. There have been reports of the West Ham manager David Moyes wanting to get rid of him after two inconsistent seasons. And we all know how much of a baller Saeed Ben Rama was with Brentford in the championship. So for Ben Rama, why not rejoin the club that already gave you so much and you have played your heart out for them before? But instead of the championship, this time you'll be playing in the Premier League for Brentford. I feel like this is a great move. Now for Leeds United, they've already made some incredible signings this summer so far. Obviously, they don't want to get in a relegation battle again, so they're already acting early. They've already raided RB Salzburg with signing Rossmann's Christensen, the right back, and of course, the American prodigy, Brendan Aronson. However, we're not here to talk about the signings that Leeds United have already made. We're here to talk about what signings they should make. And for me, I think it's pretty inevitable that Rafini is going to be leaving Leeds United this summer. I think he believes he's too talented of a player to stay in a team that's going to be fighting for relegation. And he already has links to bigger clubs like Arsenal and FC Barcelona, so why not join them instead, right? Therefore, I believe that Leeds United have to go for another winger as a replacement. And this might be a reach, but I think they should go for Callum hudson Adoy On loan, obviously. I don't think they're going to sign him on a permanent deal. Listen, if Usman Nabeli actually goes to Chelsea and they keep all their other wingers, there's going to be no room for Callum hudson Adoy to play. So why not go to another Premier League club where they're definitely going to need a winger if Rafinha leaves and he can get a lot of game time and experience there. Leeds United might need another star winger to step up, and I think Callum hudson Adoy could thrive in that environment. Now for Crystal Palace, let's keep this short. They have to do everything possible to keep Conor Gallagher for at least one more season. He had 11 contributions last season, and if you just watched him play, man, it felt like he just never got tired. He ran tirelessly for 90 minutes every single game, bro. Like, I got tired watching him. He was such a key player for Palace last season, and now Thomas Tuchel wants him to stay at Chelsea this season. However, I don't think he should do that because I don't think he'll get enough game time at Chelsea. Therefore, I think he should go back to Crystal Palace on a permanent deal or at least one more season. Now for West Ham United, it seems like Declan Rice is going to be leaving the club this summer. He already stayed an extra season when he could have left last summer to play in the Europa League for them and they got all the way to the semifinals but they couldn't win it. Therefore 
I believe they're going to need another central defensive midfielder just in case Declan Rice does leave. So now it's time to push my American propaganda again, and I think West Ham should go ahead and sign Tyler Adams from RB Leipzig. He's very young, talented, and a high potential central defensive mid for RB Leipzig and the USMNT. He's not as good offensively as Declan Rice. However, if you need someone to put in a great defensive shift, I think Tyler Adams is your man. If you watch him play, he can read danger before it even happens. That's a great trait to have for a player. And it's also looking like he's going to be leaving RB Leipzig this summer, so why not West Ham go for him? Now let's move on to Leicester City, where I think they should be focusing on the defense this year. Although they finished in a decent 8th place in the Premier League, they did concede 59 goals. And a lot of that has to do with the injuries to their center backs. Like, all their center backs got injured for a good amount of time this season. Especially Fofana, who's an extremely talented center back, but he was out for a long time this season. Not only that, so Yonchu, who everyone thought was going to be a really great center back, had a lot of inconsistencies this season, and it seems like he's going to be leaving Leicester City this summer. However, I'm going to be saying a reach, but I think Leicester City should do everything they can to sign 6'3 center back from Wolfsburg, LaCroix. He's an undisputed starter for one of the biggest clubs in Germany and has played 29 games in the Bundesliga last season. Now listen, Wolfsburg are not that good of a team. In fact, they were in a relegation battle last season as well. And one of their experienced center backs, John Brooks, is leaving the club this season. So it does seem like Wolfsburg are not going to let like another center back go, especially a talented one like LaCroix. But I do think that Leicester City should do everything possible to try their best and sign LaCroix. Because I believe that a French partnership between Fofana and LaCroix on Leicester City could be essential for years to come. Finally, Nottingham Forest are back in the Premier League and they're going to have to make some signs to make sure they don't get relegated back down to the championship. Now, like I said for Bournemouth, the best way for a team to stay in the Premier League is to improve on their defense. However, they might be losing their most key player last season in the championship in the defense, Jed Spence. He was on loan from Middlesbrough and now it seems like he's going to go to Tottenham instead. He worked his butt off to make sure Nottingham got to the Premier League, but now he doesn't even want to play for them in the Premier League. Come on, that's a little messed up, right? Therefore, I think Nottingham have to do everything possible to make sure they re him for at least one more season. Come on, Jed Spence, stay in Nottingham. Now, let's talk about Manchester United and let's be real, they need more than one signing to help them. They're going to need at least six to seven changes in their starting 11. However, I'm going to be mentioning only one player and it's going to be in their midfield. United fans have been crying out for a proper good center defensive mid. And I think you could easily get that in Edson Alvarez from Ajax. He's been extremely solid defensively and pretty good offensively for Ten Hag as well. In fact, with Ten Hag joining Manchester United, I feel like it's a perfect opportunity for Edson Alvarez to go join him. He already knows how Ten Hag works. He already understands his coaching tactics and I feel like he could be a perfect fit for United and Ten Hag. Now, I know there's links to Frankie De Jong joining Manchester United, but I believe if you get Frankie De Jong and Edson Alvarez, I feel like you're going to have a great midfield for years to come. And plus, he can help out Harry Maguire defensively because he seriously needs help. Now, let me know down in the comments which player you think should join which Premier League club. I would love to know your guys' thoughts on this. Also, remember to subscribe, turn on the notification bell, hit the like button, let's try reaching 250 likes, and also follow my Twitter at Nabuto. So yeah, thanks again, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!